Cates from Modoc, Indiana. I'll tell you more about him as we move into the show. On the main side, open maintainer bulls will lead things off class 111. The spring bull calves born March 1st, 2018 or later. Two entries in this first class for the open maintainer bulls. On the percentage Charlotte Junior Heifer Show, our first class is a single entry. It's class 732A heifer calves. Our judge once again on the Charlotte side, Tyler Cates, Modoc, Indiana, graduate of Northeast Oklahoma A&M, Purdue University, purebred shorthorn operations where he grew up, currently owns and operates Cates Farms Shorthorns with father Brian and uncle Randy Cates, as well as Sunrise Sunset Angus with his wife Courtney and daughter Piper. His favorite part about the livestock industry is how livestock people make it a small world Everyone knows everyone, or at least knows someone that does, because it's a close-knit group of good people. Our judge for the Charlotte Show for the entire day, Tyler Cates, Modoc, Indiana. Well, good morning. It's certainly a pleasure for me to be here this morning and evaluate your Charlotte Junior Show. Uh, really a nice single entry here to start off with. The things I appreciate about this heifer is when you analyze her uh, from the front, she's got a lot of chest floor. She's really good in her forerib. When you analyze her down her top, she really comes strong out of the top side of her shoulder. For a male female, you really appreciate the archery curvature she has to her rib. She has plenty of stoutness out over her hip. She's good enough up front. If I'm going to change her, I may want to level her out just a bit in her pin set. May you like to see her set down just a tick square off her hind legs. But a very nice female this young lady's brought out for us. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Cates. First place in Class 732A, Heifer Calves, 362, Lazy H. Mango, 8019, Madeline Rohr, Elbert, Colorado. Up next to the ring for our percentage Charlotte Junior Heifer Show will be Class 732B, Heifer Calves. Four entries in this next class. These born April 2nd through April 15th, 2018. And as we await our first class of open maintainer bulls to come in for the maintainer show, our judge once again, Kyle Conley from Sulphur, Oklahoma, fourth generation registered Angus breeder, graduate of Oklahoma State. His wife, Amanda, and two boys, Case and Jack, are here today. And they, uh, are committed at their ranch to being a source for seed stock that can compete in the show ring and be functional and useful in the pasture. They're proud of the donors they put together, including cow families from Sandy, Pure Pride, Frontier Gal, Patricia, and Malden Pride. They invite you to come to Seoul for any time to visit and view their operation at Conley Cattle. And coming up on February 9th, they actually have a sale in Ada, Oklahoma. It'll be the Conley Cattle and Pender Ranch Annual Angus Bull Auction there in Ada on February 9th. Once again, our judge on the maintainer bulls to lead things off here, Kyle Conley, Sulphur, Oklahoma. That first class coming in the ring, class 111, spring bull calves born March 1st, 2018 or later. They have two classes within the first division of the maintainer bulls, junior bull calf division one.
two really nice females here uh, in your April class. Certainly some differences. Uh, I think when you get these cattle out here, there are advantages uh, to each one of the heifers, and I think it's extremely close. The advantages I see that go to the heifer we start with is I like her freshness and youthfulness up through her front end. I like the cleanness she has up through her chest. I think she's a little more honest in terms of her body composition at this point in time. I like this heifer probably better in terms of the angles of her skeleton as well. She has a shot more sloped to her shoulder and set to her front knee and pastern. A heifer that I think sits down just a little more securely in terms of her rear pastern, a little softer there uh, than the heifer in second. She does want to come in at her hocks a little bit when she gets on the move. I'd like to level her out a bit in terms of her top line and her hip. Those are advantages that I give to the stouter heifer that we have in second. The heifer that we have in second is more bold up to her top. She's stouter out over her hip. I really appreciate the rib shape she has. A female, like we said, when you get these cattle on the move, she is leveler in her top and stronger and leveler out through her pins. But I'd like to change this heifer a bit in the way she travels off of her hind leg and up through her front end. It may be just a tick far along for me today, but two very, very nice females. Congratulations. Good morning, and it's sure a pleasure to be over here to judge the main NG show this morning. We start off with a really good class of maintainer bull calves, and I think it's a really high quality pair of bulls, but from there I think this bull that leads off sure has some major advantages in this pair. Uh, he's a bigger bodied bull that uh, sure gets out and travels. I really like his spine. He, he's really relaxed and uh, fluid when he gets out and moves. Beautiful fronted, nice headed, uh, good testicles on this bull calf for his age. Uh, just a tremendous calf to start the show. This young lady's got a really, really good bull calf as well. I like his extra length of front. I like the extra width this bull has down his top. Again, a bull that's got good testicle development for his age. A very long bodied bull. I'd just like to see this bull touch deeper ribbed and touch softer in his flank as you compare him to the bull in front, but two really good bulls in this class. Catch up in results just a moment. Over on the percentage Charlay side in the ring is class 732C heifer calves. With our judge Tyler Cates from Modoc, Indiana. Over on the open maintainer bulls coming in the ring next class 112 spring bull calves born March 1st, 2018 or later. On the maintainer bulls results on class 111, first place 4427 NFLL 101F North Fork Land and Livestock Augusta, Montana. Second 4428 BRKR Guardian Cassidy Barker, Kearney, Missouri. In the ring once again class 112 spring bull calves. This is right in front of our junior bull calf division championship. Our judge on that side, Kyle Conley from Sulphur, Oklahoma. Back over in the percentage Charlotte Junior Heifer Show. The results on class 732B heifer calves. First place 365, ZAGTR, Miss Bailey, 8685F, Braxton Filippo from Rush Springs, Oklahoma. Second, 371, RCC Kiki, 816, Turner Longacre, Kellyville, Oklahoma. In your programs, the placings on that first page there, class 732B, scratch two, scratch one. Judge once again on that side with Class 730C, Tyler Cates, Modoc, Indiana. Helping us in the ring today, the American International Charlet Association Queen, Madison Vogt, 2019 Miss Charlet USA. She's from Marysville, Kansas, and attends Kansas State University, majoring in ag economics. Madison is very excited to serve the breed this year. Also helping on the Charlay side, Executive Vice President Neil Orth with our show today. The staff includes David Hobbs, Caitlin Chisholm, Floyd Wampler, Cody Beck, Weston Geppert, Ty Groshans. Junior board members include, that are assisting us today, Kylie Raymeyer and Tara Tillotson, American International Charlotte Association President Larry Ludicky. Board members include Ty Eschenbaum, Mike Shoemaker, Dennis Metzger, Past President Bill Notke, and the Charlotte's and the Rockies sale begins at 1 p.m. in the Beef Palace Auction Arena today. Another really good pair of bulls in our second class. Uh, the February bull kind of takes the advantages in terms of width and power and foot size and bone. Uh, really a long-bodied bull, but just 
truly impressive as you study him down his top and get behind him. Extra wide in his hip and uh, just a lot of extra power found in this bull calf. If you like a bull that's maybe a little bit neater made, a little bit cleaner cut, uh, this bull sure does that. But unfortunately, I'd like to see him a little bit uh, more relaxed in his shoulder and front legs. He's a little bit forward in his knee, but a good looking bull standing still, really clean made. Really a nice class of March heifers here. Uh, the young lady down here that's in third uh, did an extremely nice job and I told her that she just needed more cattle in this class and if anybody ever asked her how she did within this class don't ever tell her uh, that she was at the bottom of the class she needs to tell them that she was third uh, because she's really good and she got beat by two uh, that were just a little better today this young lady that has our class winner I think is one that does a lot of really good things uh, for me and the way I like cattle uh, from an angle standpoint and a skeletal standpoint, I really like this female. I like her in the angle she has to her shoulder, the front knee and pastern. Really, I like the strength and levelness and length that she has down her top. Very correct in her pin set. Very good in terms of the set to her hind leg. I think a female for that much of femininity and extension, she still has a bold, deep rib cage and has enough width at her pins and enough width at her hocks when you get behind her. That's an advantage we give to the heifer in second as she is stouter when you get behind her. Uh, she's wider at her pins. She's more muscular through her quarter and stifle. She tracks just a bit wider than that heifer, but at the same time, she doesn't have the length of spine. She doesn't move quite as nicely and freely when you set them into motions, particularly off of her rear pastern as our class winner, but another really nice female. Like I said, this young lady uh, brought us a really nice heifer. Uh, I wish I could have got her in a different spot, but I'm sure when she gets her home and drags her around, there'll be a lot of judges appreciate her uh, for this heifer's neck, for her stoutness and dimension. Today, she just didn't quite move well enough for us, but I think she'll have a nice, a nice future with that, that heifer. As our class winners come back out here for our division champion, uh, we've got a really nice lineup. Uh, we haven't seen any uh, low quality animals out here so far. They're all very useful in their look and have, have tons of eye appeal to them. Uh, our first class winner, quickly, uh, just a really attractive bull. I think you start at his head and you see a lot of quality there. A really nice smooth neck and shoulder in that bull. Has a beautiful rib cage laid in him and a really nice hip and hind leg. Good testicle development, as we said. Just a really, really good bull calf with a lot of future. Our second class winner here, uh, tremendous in terms of his width and power. Super long bodied, high performing bull. Uh, maybe not quite as soft in his forerib and flank as the bull standing right in front of him, but sure has a lot of advantages in terms of foot size and bone and, and muscle uh, shape all the way through. Uh, the seconds sure stand uh, to be competitive in this division as well. I think we got two high quality bulls that were second in each class, but let's give these exhibitors a quick hand and we'll go out and select our division champion. Champion Junior Bull Calf on the Open Maintainer Bulls is 4427 on the Class 111. That's NFLL 101F, North Fork Land and Livestock, Augusta, Montana. Forty-four thirty-eight is your Division One Reserve Champion Junior Bull Calf that comes out of Class One Twelve on the Rocks, Ashton Danker, Owaka, Iowa. Second place in that Class One Twelve to get to that result as well. Forty-four thirty-seven LKZ Low Places Eight Hundred F Levi's Wern, Otis, Colorado. Up next, a single entry of Class One Thirteen Senior Bull Calves on the Maintainer side. Let's go back over to our judge if he's ready. This will be uh, the result on Class Seven Thirty-Three, and I'll get your results caught up. Really a nice single entry female here of fall heifer of September. The things I really appreciate and like about her is I like how true this female is. I like her how true she is in terms of her structure. When she comes and leaves, all four feet go straight forward and she's soft enough in terms of her structure. I like her in terms of her trueness and her genuineness as well. When you ask her to come and go and you watch her in front and rear, 
She's good in her chest. She's good in her forehead. When you study her up high, she's really powerful coming out of her shoulder. When you watch her go away, she's certainly got enough width. If I'm going to change her, I'd like to maybe have her neck set up just a little higher on the top of her shoulders and maybe balance her in terms of her underline from her forehead back through her flank. But a very, very nice female this young lady's brought out for us. A really high quality single entry uh, fall bull here. Uh, really smooth and attractive as he comes in. Sure could stand a lot of competition as smooth and correct as this bull's made. Uh, you really got to appreciate his skeleton and, and, and smoothness, but a really good bull to start our senior calf division. Catches up on results. Go back over to the percentage, Charlotte Junior Heifer Show. Go back two classes, class 732C. First place, 368 FAB Chantel, 8 FET, Sarah Sullivan, Dunlap, Iowa. Second, 370, Smokin' Carbine, Turney, Turner, Longacre, Kellyville, Oklahoma. And third in that class was 368, Fab Chantel, 8 F, or excuse me, 369 was third. Orange Kisses, Shayla Desmukes, Dakota, Oklahoma. In that last class, 733 Senior Heifer Cavs, first place was 376, Miss Cushing, Hannah Blankenship, Cushing, Oklahoma. Up next in the ring, percentage, Charlotte Junior Heifer Show is class 735A, Junior Yearling Heifers. Back over on the maintainer side. In the ring was your class 113 Senior Bull Cavs, also your division, Senior Bull Calf Division Championship. First and champion, 4439, PJAJ Free Money 6E, Jones Cattle Company, Chapin, Illinois. In the ring, class 114 single entry, Junior Yearling Bulls. Also your division championship up next after this grand champion open maintainer bull selection with our judge Cal Conley, Silver, Oklahoma. Back over here on the Charlet side in your composite show, another really nice single entry. Uh, another one you have to appreciate for just power and muscle and dimension. She has a lot of the traits that uh, I'm sure people that uh, select for bulls and use Charlet bulls select for and just that muscle shape down her top and out of her hip. Really powerful when you get in behind her. Young lady's done a nice job getting this female bred. Uh, so have, her, have her showing some udder. Uh, she's showing some spring behind and you know that's not always that easy. So you did a nice job getting this female bred. If I'm going to change her, I'd like to maybe loosen her up just a little in her structure uh, off of both ends, but really a nice female this young lady's brought out for us. Again, we have a single entry uh, in, the, in this uh, junior yearling uh, age bulls. Uh, this, this calf's really nice as he comes in, uh, super smooth and attractive. Uh, love his foot and his bone, uh, very smooth in his joints and has tons of rib and body depth to him. Uh, really a good testicled bull as you study the shape. Uh, there, he's got plenty of uh, circumference and, and, and a nice shape to him, but really just a high quality bull from head to tail, just really smooth and powerful and very sound made. Get the results here on the maintainer bulls. First place and your champion junior yearling bull, 114 is the class number. First place, 4442, also champion, Gateway Genetics, Pierce, Nebraska with NMR Maternal Maid. Up next, our division champ reserves back in the ring for the Open Maintainer Grand Champion Drive. Our judge once again, Kyle Conley from Sulphur, Oklahoma. Back over on the percentage Charlet Junior Heifer Show. Result on class 735A, Junior Yearling Heifers, first place 380. AMD, Miss Cleopatra, 7014, McKenna Tucker, Briggsdale, Colorado. Up next and in the ring right now, class 735B, Junior Yearling Heifers with our judge, Tyler Cates from Modoc, Indiana. After this will be the Grand Champion percentage Charlet Heifer selection.
Well, certainly uh, a really, really good yearling heifer here that uh, I appreciate a lot of things about. Um, I, I appreciate the shape that she in, the care that she's had to be fresh and be right where she needs to be in terms of gestation. Uh, female that, you know, you really appreciate her for her moderation and her boldness. A female, I like her way she's designed off of her hip, out of her hip. A heifer, when you analyze her, she's clean about her joints. She's got a good sized foot on her. A uh, female that when you ask her to move, she has the very correct angles to her structure. I really like the softness she has on her front end. She's got good ankle angularity off from her stifle to her hock and her hock down to the ground. When you put her on the move, and then some t it can be you know, where she is in gestation along with the softness out here. She wants to rock ever so slightly in her ankle, uh, but I think just a tremendous female that I'm um, sure this young man has her right where she needs to be. Congratulations. As our division winners come back in for our uh, main and maintainer bull champion, uh, we didn't see a, a bunch of numbers out here, but uh, the breeder sure brought some quality out here in front of us. Our bull calf champion, um, as we talked to him in his class and division, super uh, good about his head and neck. I love that quality you see in that bull's head. Uh, he blends back into a really nice shoulder and a nice fore rib. Uh, that bull's got a beautiful hip and hind leg in him and just love the depth of rib and the spring and, and, and depth that bull has to his rib cage. The senior calf champion, very smooth, very attractive from the side. He's long fronted and he's level in his top. He's maybe not as deep ribbed in, uh, in his flank as, as, as the bull's on either end of him, but you got to appreciate the smoothness that bull has. The bull that won our last division, as you look at him and the bull calf, I think you see a lot of, of uh, similarities. There's a lot of quality there. Uh, they both have rib and body. They're both good on their feet and legs, and uh, they, bo they both have really good testicles on them. Uh, two, two really high quality bulls. This bull here uh, might have a few advantages as you study his top line. Uh, really good behind his shoulders and in, in, in his top line on his hip and tail head. Really smooth, but two really good bulls. Uh, give these breeders a big round of applause, and we'll, we'll select our two champions. Really impressive set. Grand champion open maintainer bull is 44-42 out of class 114. The junior yearling bull division, that is MLMVP, 23 EET, Gateway Genetics, Pierce, Nebraska. And your reserve grand champion, open maintainer bull is cla from class 111. That is 4427 NFLL 101F, Northfolk Land and Livestock, Augusta, Montana. Up next, we move to Maine as you bulls after the picture break, possibly with our Judge Kyle Conley of Sulphur, Oklahoma. Back over on the other side, our Judge Tyler Cates of Modoc, Indiana, has the Grand Champion and Reserve Grand Champion selection in the ring. All our Division Champ Reserves, or all of our class winners, sorry, and seconds in the ring. And going back to Class 735B, Junior Yearling Heifers, first place 382, that is John K. Kyra, 704E, E.T., Caden Ryder Lady, Stockholm, South Dakota. Once again, this year, Grand Champion and Reserve Grand Champion Percentage Charlotte Heifer selection in the ring with our Judge Tyler Cates of Modoc, Indiana. Our judge once again for Bodoc, Indiana, graduate of Northeast Ohio A&M and, and Purdue University, grew up on a purebred shorthorn operation, currently owns and operates Cates Farms Shorthorns with his father Brian and uncle Randy Cates, as well as Sunrise Sunset Angus with his wife Courtney and daughter Piper. Tyler Cates, our judge for this grand champion selection for the Charlotte.
Well, first of all, let's give these young people and the breeders of these cattle a nice round of applause. It's been a great set of cattle this morning. When we get to your purebred show, I'm not going to go down through and describe each and every one of them when we get back out here uh, because we'll have divisions. But since we just had class winners here, I'll talk just briefly about these females. The May Heifer, I uh, talked about for her age, is one you have to really appreciate for her trueness and dimension to her chest and upper rib. Female that has some neck extension. Maybe level her out in her pins and, and square her up off of her hock just a bit, but a very nice female. The heifer out of our uh, April class. I love the extension and the cleanness and freshness and youthfulness she has up to her front end. I like the angles she has off of both ends of her skeleton. The boldness that she has in terms of her center body cavity. The places we said we wanted to change her as she gets up in her top just a little bit. Uh, when you get her on the moves, wants to get her hind legs underneath her just the shade. Uh, but I think a very nice female for that, that young man there. The heifer out of our next class is one that I think is a very, very classy female when you get her back out here. From a silhouette standpoint, so much balance and symmetry from the side. And the, love the way her neck comes out of a very flat shoulder. Uh, really good in her top line and her hip. She's good in the angles of her skeleton. And one for, has, for having that much look and femininity still has plenty of width and dimension. She certainly isn't the most powerful out of her hip and quarter and, and from behind. But I think you project this female down the future. She's got probably just about the right amount. Very nice female there. The fall heifer, one we talked about just, I like her trueness and genuineness. Really true in terms of her skeletal width. She's wide chested, she's good full rib, she's big top, and she maintains a lot of strength and stability and width all the way from inside the top of her shoulders back to her pin set. If we're gonna change her, uh, when you get her out here on the side view compared to some of these, maybe like to balance her a little bit nicer. Have her neck come up a little higher. Uh, maybe balance her in her chest floor back to her flank just a bit in her underline. Then we talked about the April yearling, one that is probably the most dimensional and powerful female. Uh, tremendous amount of rib shape, uh, really big top, really stout from behind. With all that muscle, it kind of it hinders her a little bit when we get her out here on the travel. Just like to free her up and loosen her up just a bit. Then we talked about the big nice February heifer down here that I appreciate a lot of things about. Heifer that's good in terms of her dimensions. A heifer that when you get her out here, she's fresh enough in her kind. She's got a nice udder starting. Uh, good, we talked about, you know, I like the angles that she has to her structure. Uh, the only place we were going to pick on her a little bit was when you get her out here and I wanted to see her again and see if uh, it was just if she was a little uncomfortable. But we do want to change her just a bit in the way that she gets out of her rear pastern. She wants to rock in her ankles just a little bit, but that's, that's being picky on one that's that good, uh, that's been going this long, and uh, that they've done such a nice job keeping fresh and getting bred. Uh, to me, there is a heifer out here that I think is just a little bit more elite in terms of her class, her style, her structure, and that's going to be this young lady's heifer right here. She's going to be her champion. Grand Champion percentage, Charlotte Heifer, comes from class 7032C, that is 368 Fab Chantel, 8FET, Sarah Sullivan, Dunlap, Iowa, that'll move 370 in consideration for reserve. We bring the second in in that class, and that was another really nice female that I was glad uh, was out here. Really good in her neck extension, awesome rib and depth, very level out over her hip. Maybe just didn't uh, handle her hind leg quite as good. To me, it comes down to these two calves and the big heifer down on the end for reserve. Uh, but I think if you got a big one that looks that good and is still moving as good as she is and is fresh and far along in gestation, I don't think you can leave her out of the top two. She'll be a reserve. Congratulations. Reserve Grand Champion percentage Charlotte Heifer comes from Class 735B, 382. John K. Kyra, 704E, E.T., Caden Ryder, Leedy, Stockholm, South Dakota. Up next, we'll move to Junior Heifer Calf on the Charlotte Junior Heifer Show, Class 728A. Heifer Calves born May 1st through May 12th, 2018. After picture break, possibly, we'll see.
And while we got this moment here, let's uh, thank our Stadium Arena sponsors. They include Andis. You can watch renowned Andis Livestock Grooming Educator Kirk Steerwalt demonstrate cattle fitting in the Beef Palace Auction Arena. Kirk will explain the latest techniques to get award-winning results from your Andis tools. Check your schedule for dates and times. Thanks to our friends at Show Bloom for sponsoring all the Hill and Yards Open Breeding Cattle Back Tags for the 2019 National Western. Champions don't just show up, they win with Show Bloom. We owe a huge thank you to our friends at Purina for sponsoring all the webcasting and the renowned Media Scholar Program. You can watch every show live or the archives at nationalwestern.com. Purina, feed greatness. Also want to thank John Deere, the official agriculture and turf equipment provider of the National Western. Visit your local John Deere dealer for great deals and remember nothing. Nothing runs like a deer. Sutherland Supply and Stock Show University, trusted by champions nationwide. Thanks to them as well. All the livestock shows are webcasted live in the archives at nationalwestern.com, and they also sponsor the Livestock Media Scholar Program, too. Sullivan Supply, the innovative leader in livestock grooming supplies. Also want to thank Show Champions, the official livestock photographer of the National Western. Check out the pictures taken in the ring and at the backdrops and purchase pictures online at showchampions.com. As we restart, it'll be open main as you bulls. Once again, our judge, Kyle Conley from Sulphur, Oklahoma. This is Class 222, Spring Bull Cavs, born March 1st, 2018 or later. There's a lot of trade-offs here as we start our main main and jube bull show. Two uh, really good bull calves out here with uh, with lots and lots of quality. Uh, but the bull that I'm going to start off with, I think, carries the most advantages in my mind. Uh, as you study him from the profile, this bull's longer fronted. He comes out of the uh, top of his shoulders with uh, a little bit neater and a little bit longer. Uh, just a nice uh, pattern bull as you study him from the side. I like his length of hip and his levelness of hip. Uh, the bull's long-bodied. This bull's got more depth of rib right now. I'd like to see this bull maybe a little bit uh, set down a little softer on those pasterns, but uh, I know he's got a little bit more length of body. Uh, I don't have a problem with his rear leg. Just like to see him a touch softer there. This bull that's second, uh, I think, carries a lot of advantages. I like his hind leg better. I think this bull's maybe uh, just a tick more moderate in his size. 
but I'd like to see that bull a little bit neater in the base of the base of his shoulder, make him a little smoother in his shoulder, but then give him a touch more rib and body to get around that bull in front of him. But two really high quality good bulls. Thank you, Mr. Conley. And next in the ring will be our second class in the junior bull calf division, class 223 spring bull calves. Born March 1st, 2018 or later. Here's the results on 222. Spring bull calves born March 1st, 2018 or later. First place, 4446 BMWC, hard to replicate, 404 FET. Weingartner Show Cattle, Lima, Ohio. Boyer Show Cattle, Seville, Seville, Ohio. Sorry, Seville, Ohio. Second, 4443 CCMM, full tilt, 803F. Copeland and Sons, LLC. They're a visa, New Mexico. The scratch was 4444. As I mentioned, coming to the ring, class 223, spring bull calves, born March 1st, 2018 or later. Our second class in the junior bull calf division. After this, Division Championship. Another good pair of bulls in our second class of uh, main bulls. Uh, we've got a, a bull to start off with. I think carries a lot of advantages, especially as you t look at him in terms of his rib cage. I like his moderation and size. I really like his fore rib and his flank depth. The bull's wide based and uh, has lots of muscle in him. And he's real smooth to look at from the side. Just a real high quality, functional bull to start the class. The bull that really catches your eye from the profile is his second place bull. He's really long necked. He's got a level hip in him and he's got some nice shape to him. But for me, I'd like to see him a lot softer, not fore rib and flank. He just gets it a little bit too tight in his rib cage. But a bull that sure would have some use ought to make some nice looking calves. Here's a result on class 223 spring bull calves. First place 4450 BK Ferris 35F Buck Cattle Company, Medill, Oklahoma. Second 4448 Treb Mr. Houston, Trevor Borman, Algona, Iowa. Up next, firsts and seconds back at the ring from class 222 and 223. This will be your junior bull calf division championship on the open main as you bulls. Judge once again Kyle Conley from Sulphur, Oklahoma. Fourth generation registered Angus breeder. Went to Oklahoma State University. His wife Amanda and his two boys, Case and Jack, are here. And they have a sale coming up on February 9th in Ada, Oklahoma.
as you can see from ringside, there's a lot of good bulls out here to start our show. Uh, there's a lot of decisions. Uh, you can look down at these seconds and, and see the quality that uh, we've seen. These two class winners, I think, sure have some differences, and uh, just depending on what your priority level is and what you're doing, uh, th this bull that starts the division, really an attractive bull from the profile. Uh, he's really long-fronted. I really like the correctness in that bull's shoulder. He's long-bodied. He's level-hipped. He's got good testicle development for a calf this age. He's good in his rib cage in terms of depth. Uh, that bull would maybe be a, a little better, in my opinion, if he could set him down a little bit softer on those pasterns. But a bull that gets around sound, he's, he's maybe just not ideal there for me, but a really, really high-quality bull. Our bull that wins the second uh, class, he's a bull we talked a bit about being functional. He's deep-ribbed. He's bold sprung, he's wide based, he has good testicles, a bull that uh, I think has a lot of quality to him and I think has a major advantage in performance as you study the two, two class winners out here. Uh, just uh, all around high quality kind of bull there that wins our second class. As we talked our seconds, just worlds of quality. I really like this bull that was second in our first division as you study him out here, just a really good calf. Let's give him a quick round of applause and we'll select our division. Junior bull calf champion comes out of class 223, 4450, BK Ferris, 35F, Buck Cattle Company, Medill, Oklahoma. And the junior or the reserve champion junior bull calf comes from class 222, 4446, BMWC, hard to replicate, 404 FET, Wine Gardner Show Cattle, Lima, Ohio, Boyer Show Cattle, Seville, Ohio. Up next to the ring will be class 224 spring yearling bulls for March 1st through April 30th, 2017. I have two classes in this next division. As we get reset and restarted on the Charlay Junior Heifer Show, coming to the ring will be Class 728A Heifer Calves for May 1st through May 12th, 2018. Judge once again on that side, Tyler Cates, Modoc, Indiana. a really nice single entry April yearling bull as you study him as he comes in uh, he's really sound he's big footed he's got a lot of bone this bulls long bodied and long fronted uh, as you'd say you can maybe see him a touch deeper not for it but a bull that really has some quality to him and sure appreciate the, the quality and, and good in this calf In the rig next on the main NGU Bulls will be class 225 single entry junior link bull. There's a result on 224. First place 4456, Treb Mr. Shameless Trevor Borman, Algona, Iowa. The scratch in the class was 4457. After 225 will be your junior yearling bull division championship. Another single entry is we'll see how he compares to our other class winners he comes back in. Sure appreciate the length of the body and the extension this bull has. Let's just bring our uh, division right back here and we'll see how they stack up again.
Rosola, Class 225, Junior Dreaming Bull, first place 4461, DRSS Dynasty 182E, Dunright Ag Service, Roxburgh, Bentley, Alberta, Canada. First, and set, or first place from both classes, 224 and 225 in the ring for the Junior Dreaming Bull Division Championship with our Judge Cal Conley from Silver, Oklahoma. These two bulls come back out for contention, junior yearling champion. Our uh, first class winner, uh, as you can tell from the, the stands, has a pretty large advantage in terms of movement and structure. As he comes back out, he really grabs a free stride, a lot of extra length. This bull is really attractive to go along with it and has plenty of muscle shape. I uh, do like the testicle development this bull has as you compare him to the bull that wins the second class. Just a really high quality bull. He'll be our division champion and we'll follow for reserve with the bull that won the second class. Three really nice May heifers here to start off your show. And, you know, I think a little bit of what we do in this class, you'll see that precedent kind of set as we go down the day. And I know that's bold statement through the first class, but I think these are three nice females that are three different types and kinds. But I think the kind that I like is the one that starts. I think she's the broodiest and the cowiest and the most maternal in terms of her type and kind. I think when you analyze in terms of her joints and her bone column, She's the cleanest and flatter about her joints. She has the most maternal rib shape and design to her. You know, I'd like to t pick her up a, a bit in terms of her pins. I think a heifer, you can tuck her in just a little bit up there at her chin, but I think still feminine and flat-shouldered and long-necked just gives you a nice brood cow look that I think when you compare to the two in front of her, you, although she t comes in at her hocks just a little bit when you get on the move, she's still got the softest and best angles off of both ends. I think it gets closer between second and third, but I like the freshness uh, that the heifer in second has a bit more. I think she's a little cleaner and flatter about her joints. She's a little more appropriate in terms of the length of her toe. A heifer that uh, she has given up some depth and some stoutness to the heifer behind her, but she's got a lot more length to her an extension. A heifer they really long down her top and level out of her hip. I'd like to change the angle to her shoulder and to change the set to her front knee and pastern, but I think a nice female as well. If you want to use the widest, most powerful, most rugged structured female, you can use the heifer in third. Where I want to change her is in terms of her, her bone column and her ruggedness in her chest, I'd like to just tone her down a little bit, maybe a little far along for me uh, today, but another really nice, powerful female. Catch you up on results here. Let's go back over the main as you bulls, that division championship. Your junior yearling bull division champion was out of the first class, 44-56, Treb, Mr. Shameless, Trevor Borman, Algona, Iowa. The reserve comes from class 225, 44-61, DRSS Dynasty, 182E, Dunright Ag Service, Roxburgh, Bentley, Alberta, Canada. In the ring right now, class 226, senior to bulls. Here's our judge, Kyle Conley, with the results on that. A single entry senior yearling, uh, really got a functional bull in the, in the ring right now. He's sound structured, he's heavy muscled, he's long bodied. Uh, he's maybe not coming to you in perfect show condition today, but a bull that you can tell has been out and been at work. Uh, really a, a rugged, powerful, nice looking bull to start this division. Results again on the main as you bulls, class 226 senior yearling bulls and your division championship for senior yearling bull. First place in class and your senior yearling bull champion, 44-62, TLM Depth Charge, 675D, True Line Mains, Richards, Missouri. Up next, to bring back in our division champion and reserves, this will be your grand champion, Open Main and you bull selection with our judge, Kyle Conley, from Sulphur, Oklahoma. Back over on the Charlet side, Junior Heifer Show. Here's the results on class 728A Heifer Cavs, first place 387 CAG TR Secret, 8680FET, Cagney Effling. Highmore, South Dakota, second 386 MDCC, Miss Who's Hot, 8641, that's Caitlin Brown, Canyon, Texas, and third 454, Val Libby, 201, Caitlin Davlin, El Campo, Texas, in the ring with our judge, Tyler Cates of Modoc, Indiana, this is class 728B, Heifer Cavs.
two really, really good females here that I think are both very feminine and, and uh, very eye-appealing cattle. Uh, both of them, I think, are right where they need to be in terms of their condition. I think the difference is there's just more of the heifer we start with, and she's a little looser structured when you get her on the move. I think a female that just gives you a cowy look to her, you know, she's not freaky in terms of her neck, uh, but I think a female you have to appreciate for the angles off of both ends. I think a tremendous rib, a female that gives you a lot of width and dimension from behind. You know, you could pick her up in the middle of her back just a little bit, make her a little stronger there. But when you get this heifer out on the move, she absolutely floats. And uh, sometimes those cattle that move a little better are going to give just a little bit there. So I'm not usually too critical of that nice female. The heifer we have in second is stronger right there behind her shoulders and down her top. She's very level, uh, very straight in her lines, very feminine. She might be just a little nicer at the crest of her neck than the heifer we start with, but she's maybe not quite as fluid when you get her on the move. She's certainly not unsound either, but she doesn't float like that heifer, and she's given up some power and some dimension, but a very nice heifer in second as well. Congratulations. Well, I've sure enjoyed judging these maintainer and uh, main bulls this morning. Uh, been a lot of quality. I know the numbers probably aren't as overwhelming, but we sure haven't seen anything out here that uh, doesn't merit being here. Uh, our first division winner, I think he's just a really good combination bull. He really balances nice from the side. The bull can get out and travel. I really appreciate the true performance that bull has. If you look at his age and look at his weight and, and just uh, the, that bull looks like he really has performed well. He's an attractive, wide, powerful bull that has a lot of look and a lot of future. Our junior yearling bull, I think, is a really long-bodied, really sound bull, uh, extremely long. Uh, that bull could probably use just a touch more depth if you want to get very critical of him. But in terms of structure, foot, and just all the things that are important in terms of function, that bull has it. He's a really attractive, nice-looking bull from the side. Our senior champion, as we talked, it looks like he's probably been working a little harder than these older bulls we've seen out here. But you sure appreciate the function that bull has. He's heavy-muscled. He's long-bodied. He's good and really gets out and travels. Our first uh, division, reserve division bull, we saw him in division, uh, really attractive, really upheaded. A bull that we talked about his foot, his rear leg, I'd like to maybe change that, but uh, outside of that, that bull's really attractive and has some quality. Looks like he'd really put a good look in some calves. Let's give these main breeders a big round of applause, an awfully impressive set of bulls. We'll pick your champion. Grand Champion Open Main Anjou Bull is 4450. That comes out of the Class 223 in the Junior Bull Camp Division. BK Fair is 35F, Buck Cattle Company, Bedell, Oklahoma. Reserve Grand Champion Open Main Anjou Bull comes to the same class or same division as your Grand Champion. That is. 4446 BMWC hard to replicate 404 FET Weingartner show cattle Lima Ohio Boyer show cattle Boyer show cattle Seville Ohio So you have pictures on those bulls for the main as you bull grand and reserve grand and we'll also be starting up the June main the junior main as you females class 799A Spring heifer calves, March 1st, 2018 or later. Back over on the Charlotte Junior Heifer Show. In the ring at 728C heifer calves. These born March 2nd through March 29th, 2018. Here's the results on class 728B heifer calves. First place 391, L&L &L, Miss Outsider, ET 75F2, Katrina Swope from Texas. Second 388, CCBS Cardi B, 8258 ETP, Haley Schwecki from Gibbon, Minnesota. Scratch in the class was 390. Once again in the ring with our judge, Tyler Cates from Monarch, Indiana, 728C heifer calves. We do have an add-on in this class. It's 402. An add-on in the class in your programs, class 728C. The addition is 402. As we switch... Our judges on the 
Main Anjou maintainer side. This will be the junior Main Anjou females. Our judge is Chris Mullinex from Manhattan, Kansas. He's from Manhattan, as I mentioned. He serves as the livestock judging team coach and faculty member in the Department of Animal Sciences at Kansas State University. Born and raised on a diversified livestock and farming operation in Central Maryland, Mr. Mullinex received his animal science degree at K-State, where he was a member of the 1995 National Champion Livestock Judging Team. To date, he has coached more than 30 national contest winning teams, including the reigning National Champion Meat Animal Evaluation Team and the Reserve National Champion Livestock Judging Team. Chris has judged shows in 42 different states and Canada, including several previous events here at the National Western Stock Show in Denver. Chris and his wife, Alyssa, are blessed with a six-year-old son, Mason, and three-year-old daughter, Kinsley. Our judge for the Junior Main Asu Females for Class 799A, Chris Mullinex from Manhattan, Kansas. On the Charlay side, we have an additional entry in this class, not in your programs, 387. 387 is also added to this class. Coming in the ring on the main as you side this year, junior main as you females, class 799A, spring heifer calves, born March 1st, 2018 or later. Our judge once again from Manhattan, Kansas, Chris Mullinex.
Well, good morning, guys. Uh, excited to be here, and uh, what a great way to start things off. Bring this top pair of heifers on out. We can uh, pull them down the middle here. Uh, really a nice set of spring heifer calves uh, here as we get things started. I think a pair that very quickly sort themselves to the top, and then a group of four that you could probably justify a lot of different placings with. But, you know, this top pair, they're not exactly alike, but I like both of those heifers quite well. And obviously there's a performance advantage to our class winner, uh, but I'll be honest, uh, for me, as spring heifer calves, both of these females have enough performance. I don't think that's the difference maker. Uh, I don't think we just have to weigh them or run them across the scale. I think it's more about finding uh, those features that you like in a good female. Uh, and this pair has some give and take in that regard. Obviously, with that maturity and growth, a little more body in our class winner today. I think she reaches out of her front end just a little nicer as we set her in motion. I like that sweep she's got to the base of her rib cage. I wish she'd maintain her top line just a little nicer in motion. She just pulls it slightly on us, but I think a heifer of quality and brood cow look that leads things off, I like her quite well. And yet this heifer in second, I think, uh, needs to stay right there with her. I like her freshness really an attractive look. She's a nickel neater in the shape uh, of her neck and cleaner at the base of her neck even than our winner is. And uh, at times, uh, you know, we can watch them in motion. I think she maintains her top line nice, but she needs to get out of her front end with just a tick more reach for me. Really nice pair there at the top end, though. The next uh, four heifers, as we alluded to, I think you could really justify those four heifers in about any direction you want to place them. If this heifer was just a little more stable off her hind leg, I'd call her an easy third and a candidate to move up with that top pair. I'd just like to change the set and the travel of that hind leg. She's a little awkward in the way she plants on her pastor and just needs to be squarer and truer off of that hock. But from there up and forward, I think that's a female that's got a lot of good to her. The next heifer is a little bit further along condition-wise than I would prefer at this stage. And because of it, gets a little plainer, a little deeper up in her chest, opens up just a little bit up front from her four rib back. I think that heifer's got a lot of good. She's moderate. She's stout. She's bold in her rib cage. I think uh, a female that's got some uh, cow potential just need to lean her up a little at this stage. Very unique heifer that comes next. Uh, you know, probably one I, I just hope has enough gas left in the tank in terms of growth curve, but a heifer that can get stop and sure gives me a striking look. I don't know if she's quite as feminine in the shape of that head. I need to see her just a little more maternal looking, but she sure got some power and dimension presented very, very well to us. And then the final heifer, long body. I think she's uh, relatively feminine in the way she's shaped up front and the way she blends into her shoulder. She is just a little straight in the angle of her shoulder and from there back probably gives up just a little bit of dimension and stoutness to those cattle in front of her. I like her length. I think that heifer's probably got a nickel more growth left in her than a couple heifers in front of her. So a challenging class, but a very good class. Congratulations to those main exhibitors getting things started the right way. Well, I think that uh, it was time for me where I was going to have to do some, some pretty hard work here. And uh, I'll be honest, I've had these top three heifers different ways, uh, different times. And I think there's certainly advantages that go uh, different ways. Um, all three heifers are sound enough. They're different in terms of their structure. Uh, but what I see in them, uh, the, the heifer that combines uh, being dimensional and sound probably to the best degree is the heifer we go ahead and start with. When you compare her to the heifer right behind her from a side view profile, she's deeper in terms of her center body. Uh, she's a little cleaner underneath in terms of her navel. Uh, female, when you compare to that heifer, is a little you know, bigger structure, heavier structure in terms of her bone and her foot size. But she, do she does so, but she's not, flat, or not coarse in terms of her joint work. She's not as long bodied as that heifer in second. I uh, don't like her quite as well right over her, hip, over her hook bones. Uh, and when she get her set up, it'd be nice if she would let this young lady loin her a bit. Um, she's not as long um, from the point of her shoulder to her, to her muzzle in terms of the length of the neck as that heifer. But I guess I think this is the most complete heifer um, that handles her hind leg uh, with a little bit more security. Um, has a really nice slope up to her shoulder and does so in the most dimensional package of the three heifers. Like I said, it was close between these two as it's close between second and third. When you get this heifer stand and she lets this young lady get her uh, set up and doesn't fight the halter, she gives you a tremendous silhouette. 
a female that I like the flatness she has to her shoulder. I like the length she has to her spine. I like the cleanness and flatness of her joints. To me, when you compare to the two on both sides of her, she's not quite as soft right there in that center body as the other two, although she is bolder in terms of her rib and stouter than the heifer we have in third. I like a lot of things about the heifer we have in third. I like her youthfulness when you get this heifer set up. She gives you a tremendous look. A uh, female that when you get her out here on the move, she has a nice slope to her shoulder. A heifer that maybe doesn't flex quite as good sometimes off her hind leg. And I know a part of that was she had to be the first one. Uh, I think that's a good heifer. She's given up some width. She's given up some forib. She's given up some dimension to those three heifers. But you can do those heifers any three ways. I had them in my mind three different ways, but it was time for me to make a choice and just describe the cattle. Uh, I'd like to have either any of the three. Really nice heifer coming out next as well. I used her over the young man's heifer uh, because she's a little more feminine, a little longer fronted and flatter shoulder. A uh, female that's not near as dimensional and powerful as that heifer. Uh, the young man's heifer we come, coming out next is very stout. She's soft at the ground, but she bows on both ends of her skeleton. I worry about that a little bit as that heifer gets older and heavier. The heifer coming out next, if you could strengthen her off of her hip and back legs, she could go up higher because she's got a lot of performance, a lot of length. She's good from the side. I just like to change the way she moves off of her hind leg. The heifer that comes out next, the biggest framed and longest bodied heifer, heifer that's a little frailer in terms of her foot and bone, heifer that doesn't move quite as correctly off her back end. But I thought when you got this heifer out on the travel, she's a looser spined, uh, longer strided heifer. This heifer that comes out next is a little too mature up through her front end. She gets a little up in her tail head and a little straighter off of both ends. Stick to the Charlay results, first of all, for class 728C, first place, 403. Cagney Effling, Highmore, South Dakota. CAGTR, Miss Fran, 8627FET. In second, 399, Ashley Moore, Piazza, Illinois. AM Ivanka, F142. In third, 393, TR, Miss Faye, 8906FET. Paisley Grace Carlson, Harrisburg, South Dakota. Fourth, 400, Jalapeno, 8780ET. Mackenzie Joe Gunderson, Parker, South Dakota. In fifth, 394, TR Miss Flora, 8632F, Dylan Borg, Concord, Nebraska. Sixth, 455DF, Nikki, Josie Wilkins, Lamar, Arkansas. Seventh, 395, DC Gemma, 883, Katie Utech, Hubbard, Nebraska. Eighth, was that right in 402? That's J and J, Angelina, 82, Sydney Johnson, Orlando, Oklahoma. And your programs, the placings for class 728C are as follows. Three. Top of the next page, five, seven, six, two, four, one. The right end of eight. In the ring, a single entry, class 728D heifer calves. Back over on the main as you females, junior main as you females. In the ring, a 799B spring heifer calves. Here's the results on class 799A. First place, 1107 BBR festive, 888-FET. Samantha or Sammy Schrag from Marion, South Dakota. Second, 1108. BMWC exactly, 512 FET, Austin Hunker, Bellevue, Ohio. In third, 1110, BBR foolproof, 892 FET, Jake King, Cope, Colorado. Fourth, 1111, GLC Ebony, Ty Goss, Lee, Oklahoma. In fifth, 1109, L Man Chanel, 812 F, Sarah Rimple, Athens, Texas. Sixth, 1112, BBR Fascinated, 890 FET, Nash Richardson, Yuma, Colorado. In your program placings for junior main as you females are as follows for 799A, 2, 1, 5, 3, 6, 4. In the ring is class 799B, spring heifer calves born March 1st, 2018 or later with our judge Chris Mullinex, Manhattan, Kansas. Just one February heifer here, but one that's got a lot of size and stature and length the spine to her. I have her when you get her out here. She's got some muscle shape when you analyze her from behind. Maybe you like to make her a touch more feminine and refined up front. Maybe make her a touch deeper in terms of her rib, but a very nice female this young man's brought out for us.
Well, guys, really, really a nice set of young uh, heifer calves uh, over here on our side. And you know, I think a lot of quality and depth in this class. And yet there was one that struck me pretty hard when she hit the ring. And I think just a beautiful look to this young lady's heifer. You get her parked here at the profile and just so fresh, so attractive and neat up front. So correct in her lines. Uh, you know, we could tweak some little things structurally probably in all three of these heifers. And I wouldn't mind maybe getting just a little bigger foot underneath of this female. And yet I'd probably still give her the edge amongst this initial three or four heifers in terms of structure soundness and the way she gets off of both ends and probably the most uh, impressive thing to me and these younger heifer calves I need to be able to look at them and say look out next year I think that one's got future to keep getting better and she does I think that's a really really neat female there that leads things off like a lot about the second place heifer and she sure got more performance uh, more to her here today she's got more body and volume we get her stopped and she's still proportional to me uh, from a balance standpoint she's not nearly the same in terms of freshness and attractiveness up through her front end. like to tuck that chest in her just a little bit. And I think up front, structurally, she can be changed. She's a little up on those toes because of the angle of that shoulder. She needs to reach a little bit better and be more correct in the way she's built in her front end structure. I prefer her hip and hind leg, though, versus the third place heifer. Third place heifer, I think, kind of matches her in terms of body volume and depth, maybe a little sweeter in the shape of that neck as you study her up front. I just wish that one would go more stable and correct off her hind leg, wants to rock that pastern and just get a little uncoordinated in the way she travels off of that rear too, but a nice female there as well. Guys, this is a good heifer here in fourth, and I, I think, again, one that we get stopped, and you could see maybe even some little similarities to that class winner in terms of her extra extension up front. When she gets on the move, that neck kind of drops in her and I think she needs to reach a little better. I just like to change her at the ground. That rear foot shape is something that bothers me. I'd like to see her just better at her foundation. She's a little shallower back to that heel, but her long toes and just the, you know, misshaped in, in terms of her feet, I'd just like to set her down on a better foundation there. But that is four really, really nice females there at the top end. Good bodied, moderate kind of female that's just got an edge and doability in our final pair. Not quite the, quite the quality and balance in her, a little deeper up through her chest floor a little off in the set of her hind leg and then a female that sure got frame and length and performance on her side that finishes things up for us I wish she had more uh, just body depth to accommodate the extra frame she's got but the biggest thing to me is the way she's made up in her front end structure that needs to be modified again a very very nice set of cattle congratulations those junior exhibitors on a deep class heads up Get to the results here. Back over on the Charlet side, that single entry class 728D, first place 410, WDZJLS, Miss Comfort, 805 PLD, Austin George, Mondovi, Wisconsin. In the ring right now with our judge, Tyler Cates from Modoc, Indiana, is class 728E Heifer Calves. The last class in front of our junior heifer calf division championship. Back over to the main as you side, junior main as you females. Come in the ring, 799C, Spring Heifer Calves, born March 1st, 2018 or later. Here are the results on Class 799B, as placed by our judge, Chris Mullenix, from Manhattan, Kansas. First place, 1118, KMEM, Foxy Stella, 71FET, Hadley Dunklau, from Wayne, Nebraska. In second, 1122, BKMT, Fanatic 818, Lad Landgraf, Medill, Oklahoma, in third, 1114, D. Soul, Miss Presley, 825 FET, Trevor Borman, Algona, Iowa. Fourth, 1116, Dritt Finley, Taylor Dorsey, Eaton, Colorado. In fifth, 1120, BKMT Fashion Statement, 815 ET, Ace McHatton, Medill, Oklahoma. Sixth, 1121, BBR Focused, 889 FET, Sarah Rimple, Athens, Texas. Program placings for Class 799B, 
are as follows. Three, four, one, five, six, two. In the ring, once again, Class 799C Spring Heifer Cavs, born March 1st, 2018 or later. Really a nice class here. And, you know, this class to me, even though there's probably as many differences as the last class, fits together just a little more handily, I think. Uh, still, I think you get three heifers up here, and there's some give and take and some advantages. But I do think we have one that uh, really effectively combines some of the things that we liked about all three of the heifers in the last class. This heifer is not the biggest framed and not the longest body but a heifer that's got good angles off of both ends of her skeleton. She's about as impressive a rib shape as you can come across in terms of not only depth, but being bold in terms of center portion of her body cavity. A heifer, when you ask her to get out and move, travels off of a very soft structure, and she's extremely dimensional uh, when you get on top of her. I think just a nice, complete heifer that kind of combines a lot of things for us to start off. I really like these next two as well. Uh, I love the heifer in second in terms of her softness of the ground. I like her length. She's definitely got an advantage over the heifer we start with in terms of length of spine and length up high and length of hip. Where I want to change her when you compare her to the one in front of her is she doesn't have quite as neat a look up front. She's not quite as soft in her ribs. She doesn't track maybe quite as square when you ask her to go away from you, but I like her softness of structure. I like her depth of body. Uh, over the heifer we have in second, or third. Heifer we have in third is more feminine, very nicely presented female that's flat-shouldered. Her neck comes high out of the top side of her shoulder. She's long and level down her top. Where I want to change this heifer compared to the one in front of her is this angle to her shoulder. It gets just a notch straighter uh, in terms of her knee and her pastern, and she's not quite as soft in terms of her belly as those two, but I think another really good female. The young man's heifer comes out next. I think she's a little cowy and more maternal than the two right behind him. Behind him, I also think she gets out and travels the best of those three females. 
I think a female that she's not uh, she's not quite as far along and not hairy, but I think a heifer um, that does a lot of nice things for us, maybe not acting quite as good for the young man today as well. The heifer we have coming out next, I thought just had more shape and dimension in her body and her muscle than the heifer that we have that comes out next. Young lady's heifer is one that's big up high and has a lot of top to her. Just gets a little sh more shallow and harder in terms of her center body cavity. A very nice class of females there. Over on our main side, I think of another very nice set of, uh, I think, March-born heifer calves here. And there, there's some give and take in this lineup. Uh, and as you just get down to it, I think the young lady's heifer that leads things off, just, uh, just the most complete female. I don't know that she's overwhelming or the best in every single area, but I think you start weighing uh, the pluses and minuses out here, that's a pretty nice kind of female. And the first word that comes to my mind is just broody. I think her moderation, her body type, just her natural fleshing ease uh, with still a, a relatively functional structure, I think that's what she does out here in this lineup. She's not the biggest heifer. She's probably never going to be the biggest heifer, and that's probably one that you get uh, get her off the show road this winter. You just kick her out for a little while and let her uh, lean up and, and come back as a bred uh, uh, in order to keep her fresh. But I, I think a really, really nice female that's very practical. I think not perfect in the way she plants up front, but still an advantage there versus our second place heifer in the way that shoulder lays back into and her knee sets down in her. Uh, a heifer that uh, could be a little longer up front maybe tuck her in a little tighter there at the top of her shoulder, but I think a very, very nice cow prospect that leads things off. There's a lot I like about this young man's heifer here in second, and uh, you know maybe just a nickel fresher. I think when you get up on top of her, she's got just as good a shape as that class winner. I like her hip and hind leg quite well. It's out of her front end where I draw a little bit of a concern, and you can see it especially when she gets stopped. That knee starts rocking forward on her. That angle of her shoulder just needs to be laid back better. I think a heifer that's got some future, if she stays sound enough up front, her length, her shape, and uh, her attractiveness is always going to get her a look. There's a big performance heifer that stands in third. She's got as much growth as anything in the lineup. Just doesn't quite stay together uh, as balanced as that top pair, though, as we get her uh, either on the move or uh, standing still. A little more shoulder, a little higher in her spine as she goes. Just a little round in the build of that hip, but a heifer that's sure big and stout and got a lot of growth and uh, weight per day of age there. There's a nice heifer here that comes next as well. A little crestier in her neck, a little rounder in her makeup. So just not quite the female quality that I'm looking for to slide her up the line, but a heifer that sure got some natural dimension to her. You know, as we round things out, a pair of very different heifers. I'm going to go ahead with a little more moderation and body in the next young man's heifer. I think you study her at the ground. She just needs to be more correct in the size of that foot and the way she plants on that ankle. Just give her a little bit more length and a little more female look. Uh, the heifer that finishes, and in contrast, more length of body. She's certainly cleaner up front, but a heifer that needs more body and rib in her, you know, to give you that easy fleshing look uh, for on down the line. But a really, really nice set of cattle, some challenge to it, but a good set of young people there with a nice set of heifers. Let's stick with the results on the main as you sign for class 799C spring heifer calves. Here's the results. First place 1130. Nage Miss Databank 98F Kinley Daily Kingston, Oklahoma. Second 1126 Bo Belinda E.T. Dalton Carlson Julesburg, Colorado. Third 1128 BBR Foxy Lady 899F E.T. Emma Haynes Ovid, Colorado. In fourth, 1129, Miss Maine Aim, a classy lady ET, Madison McCullough, Allerton, Iowa. Fifth, 1132, DJ Flicka, F821 ET, Matthew Bogue from South Dakota, Bearsford, South Dakota. Sixth, 1125, Midnight 29F, Cheyenne Bixby, Panhandle, Texas. In your programs of placing are 623145. In the ring, next, with our judge Chris Mullinex of Manhattan, Kansas, is class 800. Just in front of our junior heifer calf division. He's born January 1st through February 28th, 2018. Back over on the Charlay side in the ring at this time, first and seconds for the junior heifer calf division championship. Going back to class 728E, here are the results. First place, 428, Boy Bree, 807 BLDET, Kelton Arthur, Stillwater, Oklahoma. Second, 421, Walmar Penny, sequence 801P, Cooper, Canada, Moorhead, Kentucky. In third, 415, DF Miss Mirage. 357F, Riley Durer from Milan, Illinois. In fourth place, 422TR, Miss, Miss Outsider, 8702FET, Tate Berg from Florence, South Dakota. Fifth, 416DCC, Miss Outsider, 
McGuire Roar, Elbert Colorado, sixth place, 418, AWR Dora, 802, Bill Wachi from Weatherford, Texas. In your program placings for class 728E, they're as follows. Scratch, three, five, six, one, two, four. In the ring, this is your Junior Heifer Calf Division Championship. Tyler Cates from Modoc, Indiana is our judge. Well, I'm sure we've seen a good uh, bit of our numbers that we're going to see today, and uh, I think the quality out here has been amazing. They've come in different shapes and sizes, and, you know, there was classes where I had top threes that could do different things, and I even had them different in my mind a couple times, but I guess what I'm just trying to do is to describe the cattle uh, the best and pick the cattle that I think put the most good things together. Uh, I, I do like to project them down the road just a little bit um, in order to get them to this point. But you also have to appreciate the presentation of the cattle and appreciate um, where the cattle are as well. I'll, real quick, I'll give you a, a description of how I see these cattle and then we'll pick as a champion reserve. The May Heifer that won the first class did so because she was the most complete. She was the best combination of being still having some youthfulness but also being bold and dimensional and better in terms of her feet and leg set than a couple of the other heifers. If you're gonna change her, you'd like to tidy her up right there up to her front end, maybe you'd like to level her out in terms of her hip just a bit. The heifer in the next class is one that does a lot of nice things for me. Uh, we talked about the only place I'd really, you know, she's not as powerful as the, the, some of the other heifers out here, but I think she's got about the right amount of dimension to her. Um, a heifer that when you get her out on the move is as loose spined and good moving as any heifer we have out here. She, I told you, she breaks just a little behind her shoulders. Um, she's not choke fronted, but she's sure feminine and cow-like in terms of her femininity up front. That break in behind her shoulders just a little bit is one thing that allows her to get out here and move so free and easy. Uh, she's one of the leveler hip heifers out here uh, as well. I think a, a very nice female there. Young ladies heifer of the third class, very similar to our May division champion and one that uh, combines a real big bold ribcage, uh, stout hipped, 
Um, and to me, compared to the May, she's a little better looking. Uh, she moves a little bit better. But those two efforts are very similar in terms of type and kind. I'd like to change both of them just a little bit there at the top of their hip in comparison to their pins. But two, that's a really nice female as well. February singer year, s single entry, really long bodied, big statured heifer. This gets a little outclassed when you get her out here with these other, some of these other tremendous females. And then the young man's heifer that comes out next. Uh, very unique individual and you know when you first see her um, she has she she hits you hard um, you know you you ask yourself a little bit you know is she too much right now but then you start trying to pick a hole in her um, the only thing I could be critical on that heifer is maybe she runs downhill just a little bit um, I have yet to ever get rid of a cow out of the pasture because they run downhill same as I've never got rid of one because they break a little behind their shoulders but I think that ever just combines uh, so much width and dimension and power with some class and still, uh, to me, one of the best, best structured heifers that we have out here. Really nice group of seconds. Um, a couple of them were close to being over here. So let's give these a nice round of applause. I'll go pick the two I like the best. They aren't going to match exactly the same. Over here on our main side, uh, you know, I think we could have had 15 heifers in, in this class and you'd sure would have, uh, you know, found a lot to like in this uh, top four or all four of these heifers toward the top end of any class. And yet, I, I will tell you, it's probably one of the more challenging classes. There's a lot of give and take. Uh, and I, there's, there's justification in my book of any one of these top three heifers winning this class. And I think what it boiled down to for me, the top pair stay together. And it's a matter of whether you think the third place heifer has enough to her to win or she doesn't have enough to her and needs to be third. And that's really what it boiled down to for me. I think these two stay together because of their extra performance uh, uh, here today. And then you get them stopped. I think the young lady's heifer uh, certainly has a little more striking look about her. That chest sets up in her just a little bit better. Uh, I think she is pretty uh, handily the truest in terms of dimension. When you study them up high, she's the boldest in the upper term of a rib. She's not necessarily the deepest bodied. I'd give the second place heifer a slight advantage there, uh, but she's the truest in her shape up high, the most dimension from behind. So with all that said, why is she not just a runaway easy winner? It starts at the ground, and it's the shape of those feet that bother me. I really want to set her down you know, on a better rear foot. Uh, that's why her ankle tends to come forward just a little bit. It's probably why that loin and tail head gets a little awkward when she gets in motion. If we could change her at the ground, I think that one's got just a deadly profile to her with the right kind of dimension. Uh, I just need to shear her up at the ground. My issue was the second place heifer, although different in her structure, I don't know has a significant advantage. She's a little straighter in the angle of her shoulder, wants to hock in just a little bit off her hind leg. I love that one's performance and sweep that she's got to her center body. As we said, those two fit together. From a structure standpoint, I think you could argue the third place heifer uh, to be the soundest in this lineup. I think her feet and legs are nice. I think her comfort on the move is good. And I still think she balances up nice. She's very smooth. She's very proportional. You know, your breed uh, still uh, needs muscle, though, and, and I think that's the th question you've got to ask in a breed uh, that is predicated on offering dimension and muscularity. Uh, I think you still got to find that even in a female, and that's where that heifer just falls short for me. When you get right up on top of them, she just doesn't have near enough dimension. Watch her come and go. She's a little closed up in her chest, a little narrow at her base, a beautiful balanced heifer, a heifer that's pretty sound. That's the give and take amongst that trio. Our final heifer does have more dimension and more muscle and I appreciate that she gets too round she's a little too coarse and open in her shoulder a little round in the build of that hip and hind leg I just need to see her more correctly balanced and have uh, you know more female look to her but an excellent class a very challenging class there but a good set of cattle stick to the main as you sign real quick here class 800 junior heifer calves here are the results just in front of our junior heifer calf division championship First place, 1133 CMCC, Filthy Rich, 802 ET, Whitney Walker, Prairie Grove, Arkansas. Second, 1134 DUP Feature, 801 ET, Whitney Walker, Prairie Grove, Arkansas. Third place, 1136 JoJo, Ashton Danker, Avoca, Avoca, Iowa. Fourth place, 1135 JBT, Daddy's Girl, 10F, Clint, Maine, Seymour, Indiana. Program placings are one, two, four, three. Up next, Junior Heifer Calf Division Championship. 
Back over on the Charlay side of the equation. Then the ring right now is class 729A senior heifer calves. Here's the result in that junior heifer calf division championship. Your champion was 420. That comes out of that last class. That is Boy Bree, 807 PLDET. Kelton Arthur, Stillwater, Oklahoma. The reserve junior heifer calf champion was 391. Out of the second class, that was L L Miss Outsider, ET, 75F2. Katrina Swope from Texas. As I mentioned in the ring right now, class 729A senior heifer calves. In the ring with our judge, Tyler Cates from Modoc, Indiana. Two really nice winter heifer calves here. And again, like every class, there's going to be advantages that go either way. But I like the femininity, the freshness, and the refineness uh, that the heifer that, that comes to us today. I project her out maybe, uh, you know, a little better in terms of her size. And uh, when you compare to the heifer in second, she's certainly more slender up front and laid in nicer about her shoulder. A uh, heifer that is, uh, I think, really nice and maternal and natural in her, in her rib and her softness. A heifer that's a little cleaner and flatter about her joints. She's not the powerhouse that the heifer in second is. Uh, this heifer maybe could handle her hind leg with a bit more flexibility at angular angle. But I think I like her femininity. I do like her femininity and angularity and freshness a little bit better than the heifer in second. Like we said, a real rugged, structured powerfully designed heifer. Uh, you know, with this heifer, I'd like to change her. She's just a little over a year. She's a December, and she's probably a little, much, little far along in terms of her condition. I'd like to just balance her up and make her a bit more feminine. Over here on the main side, uh, what a great way to start off the morning. And I think uh, you know, all four of these class winners certainly deserve consideration out here. I, you know, I'm not going to say that we ended up with four peas in a pod. I think uh, each of these heifers have a, a little bit of a different piece to the puzzle that you can really get excited about. Uh, and yet I think all, one, all of them uh, certainly have a future for these young people as they go back into a breeding program. You know, I think uh, as we get them back out here, there's one that stands out for me, though. And I think just in terms of, you know, elite kind of quality that, uh, you know, uh, I think has just incredible future in front of her. I think I made it clear throughout this uh, particular uh, division, these are still heifer calves, you know, just coming yearlings now. And I, I think, you know, they've got to give you that look that they're not only exceptional today, but that their best days are in front of them. And that's where our division winner in this particular lineup really sets a, a pretty high standard for me. Elite quality, uh, still good in terms of her structure. I think one that surprises the heck out of you when you get up on top of her. She's so green yet. I don't know if you make her a power heifer, but she's got a beautiful shape to her still. I think there's a standout in this lineup, and she came out of class two. Young lady, let's bring your champion on up here for me. Congratulations. Your junior heifer calf division champion is 1118 out of class 799B, KMEM, Foxy Stella, 71FET, Hadley Dunclaw, Wayne, Nebraska. That'll move 1122 into consideration for reserve. As we select the reserve, I think, again, quite a bit of give and take here, but there's another one that I think follows suit, and, and she may not have, you know, those just jump out and grab you elite pieces, but I think the longer you study these cattle, there's one that fits me in terms of just a level of completeness amongst the four that remain out here that slides her into our reserve slot. Great set of heifer calves. We're going to use this first class winner to be reserved. Really a nice senior yearly or senior heifer calf here, single entry. Uh, female that does a lot of nice things and very complete individual. She's feminine enough. She's certainly good in terms of her, her volume for a female of that age. She doesn't overwhelm you anywhere, but I think a very nice complete heifer. You might relax her just a bit in terms of the knee, but I think she has a very nice hip and hind leg. I think a nice female would be anxious to see our two class winners out, back out here in this division. Back over the main side, the reserve champion junior heifer calf is 1107. That is festive Sammy Schrag, Marion, South Dakota, out of class 799A. Up next, a single entry for the main Anjou side, class 801, winner heifer calf, 
also your senior heifer calf division champion. Back over on the Charlay side, catch you up on results here. I know we're two classes behind. Coming to the rig next will be senior heifer calf division championship. Here are the results on 729A, senior heifer calves, that first class in that division. First place, 424, J&J, Miss Dari, 748, Charlie Johnson, Orlando, Oklahoma. Second in that class was 423, DF, CRG, Bandy, 014E, Riley Durer from Milan, Illinois. That single entry class, 729B, that was just in the ring, senior heifer calves, first place, 427, CC, Kyra N, 7541, PLD, Cami Stahl, Brimfield, Illinois. This is your senior heifer calf division championship with our judge, Tyler Cates of Modoc, Indiana, in the ring right now. We've just got a single entry here, and I believe this is a full division. Uh, this is the only fall heifer, believe it or not, that we've got in the entire junior show. But uh, young man's got a nice heifer calf there. Uh, I think you get her here at the side, and, and I think you can see some balance and look in that heifer. Very correct in the way she's built down her top line uh, to her hip. That tail head sets into her just the way it needs to. You know, she could be just a little neater up front, perhaps. But I'd say probably the biggest thing is we set her into motion. That's where we could tweak her a little bit. And you can see it up front. She kind of splays those front feet out. And I think it's a product of being just a little straighter than she needs to up front. But certainly a nice single entry. Got some quality, some moderation, and, and some dimension to her. Nice single entry for that young man. That's going to be our division champion. Congratulations, bud. Here's a result on class 801, winner heifer calf, and also your senior heifer calf division champion. First place in champion, 1138, Miss Main Aim Echo ET, Drew McCullough, Allerton, Iowa. We move on the main as you side to a class 804, a summer yearling females born May 1st through June 31st, 2017. This class 804 is the only class in the summer yearling female division. It'll be a championship for that division as well. As we get back out here for your division, three very nice representatives. The November heifer uh, that beat the big, powerful December heifer. I think as a female, you have to appreciate she's extremely bold in terms of her rib. Her upper rib shape's very good. She's very dimensional down low, a lot of power out of that female's hip. The heifer, when you compare her to the heifer right behind her, she's behind her. She's maybe not quite as feminine up front. She is maybe r nicer right at the top set of her neck, but she's maybe not as long fronted as the heifer right behind her. Uh, female, I think you have to appreciate for her ruggedness and dimension, though we talked about her in class. We maybe like to give her just a, a shade more flex off of her hock uh, and make her just a little freer and easier there. The heifer out of the, the single entry, I think one that is very complete, I think extremely long-bodied, feminine and maternal in her kind, has a very nice rib shape. She's, she's not as bold as the heifer in front of her, but she's also a longer-bodied heifer, and she maintains her depth really good from her forehead back to her flank. The heifer, I really like the, the hind legs set on this female. And then we got the second place heifer we talked about was just extremely powerful, just a little too rugged. Uh, for today uh, within that particular class. I really like both these heifers. Uh, the heifer that I think is the most complete is the heifer with a single entry, and then the young lady's November heifer will be a reserve. Senior heifer camp champion is from class 729B. That's 427 CC Kyra N, 7541 PLD, Cami Stahl, Brimfield, Illinois. The reserve senior heifer camp is out of the class 729A, 424, J&J, &J, Miss Dari, 748, Charlie Johnson, Orlando, Oklahoma. Up next, we move to the intermediate division for the Charlay. It'll be a single entry, class 730A. 
Over here on our main side, uh, just one class uh, that is an automatic division, so we'll treat it as such and just tell you what I see in the three cattle as we select this uh, this summer champion. Uh, start up front, and I think uh, certainly a heifer that in terms of balance and quality, if you saw what I liked in that first heifer calf that won that first division, then you should draw some similarities to this female. I think very attractive and neat up front. I think a quality female from the side. When we get her out in motion, she travels easily the best of this particular lineup, and it starts with the build of her hip and hind leg, the reach that she's got, you know, maybe even just a little softer in her pasture and then perfectly ideal, but I'll take that over one that's up on their toes or, or two straight every day of the week. I think an effort that still backs that up with uh, plenty enough dimension and body. Is she the most muscular in this lineup? No, but uh, I think plenty to her, and certainly the word that jumps out first and foremost to me is she's the freshest one standing out here by a long shot. The heifer behind her, no doubt the most muscular her. She's got a big old hip in her, really bold in the turn of her rib, lots of dimension from behind. And I think still uh, you know, a heifer that's relatively correct in her lines as we get her st standing here. So just parked at the profile, I think that's a heifer that maybe you can draw in and really find some uh, things you like. Problem is when we set her in motion, things kind of come apart on her a little bit. She gets a little too tight in her spine. She's really off on both ends of her skeleton, doesn't get out and move the way she needs to. And even though she's clean necked, I think she needs to be more feminine in the shape of her head and neck and a little neater in the way she comes into her shoulder. But I certainly like the muscularity. Nice cow prospect that stands third in this lineup. She's moderate, she's deep, she's easy doing. Uh, again, maybe not perfect in the shape of those feet, but at least she maintains her spine and her top line pretty effectively when we set her in motion. I think the biggest thing for me in that one, just like to freshen her up a little bit. She's got a little more condition on her at this stage in the game, maybe not quite as attractive as another heifer in this lineup. But that's three very, very nice females. I think a pretty logical place, though, to be your divisional winner. Young lady up front is going to have our champion. Give her a nice round of applause if you would. Let's go ahead and pull that heifer out. I think pretty logically also young man's going to have our reserve in this division. Congratulations to all three of those young people. We've got one August heifer over here, a single entry. The heifer I think you have to appreciate for the length she has from her point of her shoulder back to her pins, very strong top female. It's very level out over her hip. We're going to change her maybe like just to soften her up a little bit today. But I think a very nice female. The young lady does a nice job getting shown. Back over on the main as you side, here are the results on class 804 summer year league females and your division championship. First and champion 1142, TJ, SC, Lucky Lady 164, EET, Samantha Van Voris, Bowling Green, Ohio. Second and reserve 1144, BWHS, Hermoyne, Baron Strope, O'Neill, Nebraska. Third in the class 1143, CCW, Kalani, 520E, Sarah Rempel, Athens, Texas. Up next in the ring will be two entries for class 805, first of two classes within a junior yearling female division four. Our judge once again, Chris Mullenix from Manhattan, Kansas. Back over on the Charlay side. In the ring at this time is Class 730B, Summer Yearling Heifers. These born May 4th and May 6th, 2017. Back to Class 730A, that single entry, Summer Yearling Heifers. First place, 431, TC Terra's Joy, E111, Tara Tillifson, Warden, Washington. Judge on that side is from Modoc, Indiana, Tyler Keats. Well, just two entries here as we start in the junior yearling division. And 
I, I think a pretty clear cut placing on this pair, uh, but I think uh, uh, in spite of that, just a lot of really good things to appreciate in this class winning heifer. And I mentioned that last division, uh, you know, I love it when uh, young people keep their cattle in the right kind of condition. And this one's beautiful in terms of, uh, you know, the freshness that she comes to us. Uh, I love it uh, when we can get to see these big junior yearling heifers clearly bred and bagging down. And she obviously is and starting to show us some utter development. And I think, uh, I think a relatively high quality udder. That's a nice two-year-old bag that's dropping. It's relatively tight to the body wall. Her teeth size and shape is good. A little awkward maybe in the balance of that udder as we study here from the show side, uh, but I think still uh, going to have a nice memory system when it's all said and done. And then you get her stopped, and I think her freshness and her female quality really uh, helps her to just gel draw up a really, really nice look. Set her into motion, and, and oftentimes we get them heavy bred. That loin and that tail head can get a little uh, funky on them, and she does that a little bit, but uh, I think that's a really, really nice female here to lead off this particular class. This heifer in second, certainly moderate in terms of her type, and she's still got some muscularity to her. That's a heifer that's got a nice top shape in her, some hip uh, and pin width in that female. A heifer that as you step off to the side, I think it's pretty obvious she just doesn't have the maternal character through her rib and body type, just not quite the do ability uh, and near does she look as far along in terms of calf and gestation as that heifer that leads things off. A very, very nice uh, pair there, uh, excellent heifer there that leads things off. Nice pair of heifers here, a little different in terms of their type and kind, but I like this heifer in terms of her structure and femininity and freshness a bit better than the heifer in second. When you analyze these cattle on the side, she's a little nicer in terms of her chest. She's a longer bodied, leveler hipped female that when you set the cattle into motion, she takes a longer, more fluid stride off of both ends. A female that, yeah, she's a touch bigger frame than the heifer in second, but she still has a very nice uh, design to her rib cage. I think just a very feminine, uh, nicely designed female to start off with. You surely have to give an advantage to the heifer in second in terms of muscle and width. A heifer that's good in her full rib. She's big up high. She's extremely powerful from behind. Where I want to change her is she gets a bit choppier as you get her hair all and move a little shorter in her stride. I'd like to clean her up in terms of her chest and lengthen her out and level her out in terms of her hip, but a very nicely presented female, a good class. Here's the results on class 730B, summer yearling heifers, first place 434 on the Charlay side. TR Miss Elsa, 7621E, Caleb Johnston, Hobbs, New Mexico. Second was 433, WGB Miss Timeless Lady, 716 PET, Caitlin Brown, Canyon, Texas. In the ring next, there'll be a first and seconds from class of 730A and B, Intermediate Division Championship with our judge, Tyler Cates of Bonock, Indiana. Here's a result on class 805 on the main as you female side, spring yearling females. First place 1147, Veda Vicklin, Longmont, Colorado. Second 1148, Lakeisha. Caitlin Meister, Boise City, Oklahoma. In the ring right now is class 806, junior yearling females, born January 1st through February 28th, 2017. After this will be the junior yearling female division championship with our judge Chris Mullinex of Manhattan, Kansas. A nice uh, heifer again that leads off uh, this particular pair and you know, I have her again that's uh, just got quality and, and balance to her as we get her uh, stopped here at the side and, and a heifer that still backs that up with the right kind of rib and body depth, some dimension from behind. I think sure adequate as we get her out in motion as well. A little extra set to that hind leg, but she can reach and go with it. Again, gets just a little bit off in her top line as we get her out in motion. Again, it looks like a heifer that's starting to drop a little bit of bag and then show us some evidence uh, of utter development. Uh, I hope she has four good quarters when it's said and done though because that uh, 
Uh, on the non-show side, that back quarter is really concerning to me. The shape of that teat, I don't know if uh, I don't know if it's going to be functional for her or not. Time will tell, I guess. But uh, uh, that's something that I'd certainly like to modify in that female. But take nothing away. That's an awfully nice heifer that leads things off. The heifer here in second, just a little out of balance. That chest sets down in her enough without quite the body and flank behind it to quite balance her out. And I like the length of that heifer. I don't think she's got chest because she's way too fat. In fact, I think she's actually pretty lean, and you can see it up through her neck and in her body type. That's a heifer that's coming to us in good condition. It's just naturally that sternum kind of sits in her, so she's a little off balance. We talk about some other things in that class winner. Probably in this heifer, it's about those teats needing to be spread more correctly and square underneath of her uh, to feel like she's going to kind of drop the bag we'd like to see as a mature cow or as a two-year-old here. But a heifer that's got some length, some extension, certainly some muscle shape as you get on top of her. Nice pair of but obviously a really nice female that leads it off. And here in your intermediate division, just three females here, but I think three really nice ones. Single injury August Heifer up here. We talked about how long and, le and level she is down her top, a lot of length in the point of her shoulder back to her pins, but still has a lot of strength in her top line. She's got a lot of bone and foot size, just maybe doesn't have the rib shape and the depth of the two heifers we have behind her. I think a really nice female that won the May class. She's not the widest and the most powerful uh, at the ground, but I think one that just does a lot of good things. I think she's very feminine and maternal in her kind. To have that much length and be that loose in terms of her skeleton and drop that kind of rib, I think just a, a nice complete female. It's very fresh female. It's pretty far along in terms of her gestation as well. Then the young lady heifer was second. Really a nicely presented, wide, powerful, big top stout hip heifer. We're talking about just like to like lengthen out her stride just a little bit make her just a little more feminine for me up front, but two really good females there. We're gonna go ahead and keep the two from the May division together. Congratulations. On the Charlay side, your intermediate champion heifer comes out of class 730B, that's 434TR Miss Elsa, 7621E, Caleb Johnston, Hobbs, New Mexico. The reserve comes from the same class as your champion, 433, WGB Miss Timeless Lady, 716PET, Caitlin Brown, Canyon, Texas. Up next for the Charlet will be the, the junior heifer division. First class has two entries in it. Class 731A will be the next one in the ring. Back over on the main as you side. Last class 806, first place 1151, Miss Garth. Storm Johnson, Westington, South Dakota. Second place 1250, Daisy. Mia Encinias from Moriarty, New Mexico. This is your yearling, junior yearling female division championship with our judge, Chris Molinex from Manhattan, Kansas. Well, we just had these four heifers in this division, two in each class, but obviously our two class winners uh, set the bar pretty high for this particular division and are going to be our champion in reserve. And yet I think as you put everything together, uh, even that pair has some logic to it here today. And, uh, you know, certainly a pair that you appreciate some similarities they have, but I think a really, really fresh, attractive look to the heifer that will be our champion. I don't think there's a significant difference uh, in terms uh, of dimension. You might give a slight edge uh, to the heifer uh, that's going to be our reserve in that regard, but our champion has, uh, has just a look of quality and balance that's pretty tough to get around. And then you tack on top of it uh, a pretty substantial edge in utter quality as she starts to, to drop a bag here as a coming two-year-old. I think a really nice pair, but the young lady up front is going to pretty logically have our divisional winner. Young lady second in the lineup will be reserved. But give those two a nice round of applause. Good pair of heifers. Here's a result on the Junior Yearling Female Division Championship for the main issue. Class 805, first place in, or excuse me, champion is 1147, JPV Miss Make Me Wanna, ET. Veda Vicklin, Longmont, Colorado. Reserve was the first out of Class 806, 1151, NAGE Miss Guard 61E, Storm Johnson, Westington, South Dakota. Coming to the ring next for the main issue, this will be your junior main issue, grand champion female, and reserve grand champion selection with our judge Chris Mullinex from Manhattan, Kansas. Really a nice single entry here when this young lady gets this heifer set up. You can't make one a whole lot nicer from the side. 
uh, heifer that they've done a nice job keeping fresh. I like the way her neck comes out of the top side of her shoulder. She's a big stout heifer that's still long and level in terms of her design. For her frame size, she's still got plenty of depth. She moves pretty nicely off of her hind leg. If I'm gonna change her, she maybe stands just a tick wide up front. And when she moves, she wants to get a little out at her elbow. But I think that's an awfully good heifer that, that handles that much size and power uh, adequately, adequately when you get her out here on the move. Result on class 731A junior ring heifer, first place 438DF, Miss Risling, 56048ET, Riley Durer, Milan, Illinois, 436 was a scratch. Up next to the ring, class 731B on the Charlet side, junior yearling heifers, junior yearling heifers on the Charlet side, class 731B in the ring. Judge once again, Tyler Cates, Modoc, Indiana. It's the second of three classes in the junior division. After that division championship, we'll have our grand champion Charlotte Heifer selection. That's a look ahead. Well, what a fun morning and great set of uh, main heifers here for these young people. Before we get into any more discussion, if you'd help me congratulate these set of young people on an excellent set of heifers in this division.
you know, I, I know at times we haven't had huge numbers in all of these divisions, uh, one that's just a single entry there in particular, but, uh, but I do think the quality really uh, has been awfully nice. And, you know, even as uh, we think back to some of those classes where you might have had a little give and take and not always gotten a division out uh, that uh, looked exactly alike, I would tell you the three heifers in contention out here that came out of uh, at least divisions with some numbers in them, I think do have a lot of, uh, alike. That uh, heifer calf and these two bigger heifers in the back, you know, I think they have such a nice blend of quality and balance uh, with enough dimension and performance, uh, you know, to keep your breed being exactly what it needs to be. And, and that's, uh, I, I think, really exciting for these young people. Uh, I compliment them on the way they've exhibited these cattle and the, the way they brought them to us because I, I know it costs a lot of money and a lot of time and effort on the part of these families to get them to this point. So my congratulations to each of you. With that said, uh, I, I've alluded to it already. I don't want to take anything away from our reserves. I think all three of those cattle are exceptional in their own right. Our champion and reserve are going to come out of these divisional winners, and, uh, and I think uh, three heifers that deserve a really strong look, and it starts up here with this heifer calf. And everything that is good about this heifer calf is highlighted by one heck of a showman, I think we would all agree. She knows how to get the most out of what is a beautifully balanced, really, really neat heifer. I love the look of that one. I love the future that she has. And what I like is she's green enough uh, at this stage that I can look at that heifer and then come down here and say, is there a chance she can look like that a year from now? And I think there is. I guess the one thing that I, I, I am ex excited to see how matures in that heifer is the way she's built up front. I don't know if she's perfect in the angle of her shoulder. I think she gets out and goes good enough. That'll be, time will tell on how, if she stays sound enough up in her front end. But what a beautiful, balanced, attractive heifer that comes to us in a great uh, condi condition for me for a young heifer calf. And as we said in that division, she'll surprise you. She's got more dimension up high than what you probably anticipate. Good fall heifer, compliments to that young man, but it's the other three that are out here. I think this uh, summer yearling heifer deserves a look as well, and I think uh, within that division we talked about just uh, her look of quality is what separated her, and it's still the case here. A heifer that uh, not the most powerful in this lineup, but plenty enough to mention. She is stout to the ground. She can get out and go uh, pretty nice. Uh, a heifer that uh, um, I'm okay. I know the other big heifer out here is showing more development, but that's a summer heifer. We got time for her to hit two and be dropping some uh, udder. She maybe at times can get just a little easy right there behind her shoulder. Uh, I love the squareness and the width of base that she sets down with for the kind of length and extension she's got in her stride. I think a very, very nice contender. And then this heifer that's uh, at the back of the lineup. Um, guys, what you see is what you get in this one. Uh, there's not a whole lot of hair on this heifer. She's presented beautifully for what is there, uh, but I, I just love the maternal look that that heifer's got uh, a heifer that's so good in the turn of her rib and the sweep to her lower body so feminine and maternal in the way she's made up front and you don't have to be the sleekest necked or the skinniest necked one for me to have a maternal look through your front end she's really got that everything is very proportional in her uh, obviously uh, I love the fact that she looks like she's ready to get into the production part of her lifetime and dropping us a, a nice two-year-old udder there that I think is going to have some longevity to it and yet you get in behind her for all the things you like here she's still got dimension and true width out through her hip and pins uh, I think a heifer that puts a lot of good things together uh, not the biggest one in this lineup but I think the best one in this lineup young lady you're gonna have the champion give her a nice round of applause excellent female to lead things off as we said, it boils down to those other two we've already talked about. Uh, I would tell that young lady that had reserve to our champion, if that udder was better, and especially that uh, left hind teat, uh, if I felt real comfortable that that heifer was going to have four functional quarters long term, then uh, I think you'd be in contention too. But it boils down to those other two we already talked about. I think at this stage in the game, if you think things are even close, you can't help but to give uh, the benefit of the doubt to those uh, that are starting to show what they're capable of as they mature. Young lady out of Division Three will have reserve. Great job. Really a powerful class here. I think there's, a, again, some differences of type and kind, but you know, the heifer that starts off for me does pretty handily. Uh, when I 
what I want my yearlings to look like when they reach Denver uh, is kind of very similar to this. From a structural standpoint, this heifer is extremely good, clean in her joints and soft at the ground. And for some of you, maybe a little too soft pastern, but we've seen enough cattle today uh, that can be softened up there. So I'm not going to get critical of this heifer. Uh, in that aspect, but I love the freshness and femininity and angularity that she has, the angles off of both ends of her skeleton, beautiful in terms of her top line and her hip, tremendous in terms of the, her, her rib, uh, her swoop and dimension, beautiful udder. I mean, you can't draw an udder any better than that in terms of spacing, nice petite teats, she's springing up behind. I think a heifer that today uh, fits the bill for me. I think it's close between second and third. Uh, the differences in, to me uh, is I think the heifer in second is just a bit more attractive. I think she's a little cleaner throated. I think she's a little nicer in terms of her chest. I think she's a little stronger down her top line. Uh, I give an advantage the heifer in third uh, gets out and moves a little longer and freer. This young man does an awesome job getting this heifer set up. Uh, when you get her out here, this heifer just isn't moving good enough today. Both when you watch her from the side and from behind, she's not getting around good enough for her to beat the heifer in front of her. The heifer in third, uh, like I said, very cowy and dimensional. I uh, love her rib shape and her power. She is moving just a shade better than the heifer in second, but not quite as much eye appeal and class as that heifer in second. Let's go back over on the main as you side. Here's the grand champion junior main as you female. It was 1147 out of class 805. And that last division, the junior link female division four, that is 1147. JPV Miss Make Me Wanna ET, Veda Vicklin, Longmont, Colorado. Your reserve grand champion junior main and you female came out of that division right in front of it, division three. That's 1142. TJSC Lucky Lady 164 EET, Samantha Van Voris from Bowling Green, Ohio. Picture break for the main and you on that side of the show ring. When we resume, it'll be class 333 on the open main and you females. Back over on the Charlet side, our last class within this final division before our grand champion Charlet heifer selection is class 731C. Here are the results on 731B with our judge Tyler Cates from Modoc, Indiana. First place 440, Boy Smoke and Monty, 7311, Carter Hogue from Good Hope, Illinois. Second 444, BK Boy Eye Catching, 740 EET, Kelton Arthur, Stillwater, Oklahoma. And third 443, WC Brandy, 7151 PET, Tricia Dideball from Newcastle, Nebraska. Placings are 132. In the ring, once again, this is class 731C, Junior Ling Heifers. The scratch in the class is 451. After this, Junior he Champion Heifer Division Championship and then the Grand Champion Selection. Here in your junior yearling class, two really nice females, but at the January heifer, I think when you get her out, does a nicer job on the move. She moves a little truer as she comes at you. A female that's a little longer bodied, female that has plenty of dimension to her. The heifer that's right behind her is probably ultimately wider than that heifer, but the heifer maybe doesn't hit us as hard from the side and balance. She's pushing up a little bit more chest. The female, when she comes at you, she wants to roll in just a little bit, not quite as much set to that hind leg, uh, but the young lady, when she does get her parked, does a really nice job, and that heifer can give you a nice look. Here's the results on class 731C, junior yearling heifers. First place, 449, MLF Miss Montella, 53 EET. 
That is Bailey Garwood, Columbiana, Ohio. Second, 450, White Rose Pixie Proof, 704, Madeline Rohr, Elbert, Colorado. Scratch in the class was 451. Coming to the ring, first and second, from classes 731 A, B, and C. This will be your junior champion heifer selection with our judge, Tyler Cates. Tyler Cates from Modoc, Indiana. Back over in the open, Maine as you female. Coming in the ring right now with our judge. Our judge, Kyle Conley from Sulphur, Oklahoma. This is class 333 spring heifer calves, born March 1st, 2018 or later. As we get back out here for your yearling division, really an impressive group. Let's give these let's give them a nice round of applause. Heifer out of our first class, really fresh in her condition, great silhouette from the side. Heifer that's really long and level in her design. A heifer that's got enough rib to her today. We talked about if we were gonna change her, maybe like to change her the way she comes at you and stops up front. Uh, heifer that stops a little wide, but I think, man, she's a really nice female that does a lot of good for us. Heifer in the middle, um, you know, if you want to say you'd like to you know, make her a little wider underneath, I won't argue with that, but where she's good, she is so good, and, you know, she's what I, I want my big heifers to look like this time of year in terms of one that is that sound and flexible and fluid, one that's fresh in her overall kind, one that has a beautifully, perfectly spaced, nice designed udder. You know, I think that heifer, when you get behind her, has plenty of width and dimension at her pins and plenty of quarter and stifle. If you're gonna pick on her, you maybe like to give her a notch more chest width and a little more full rib, but I think that heifer uh, really does some good things. The heifer out of the next division, really a massive broody female. I like the way she combines having that much rib and muscle with still putting it on a flexible frame. A heifer that when you compare her maybe to the heifer right behind her, isn't quite as neat in terms of her balance and her levelness out of her hip or as attractiveness up front, but I like that female a great deal as well. We talked about the young man's heifer here. He does an awesome job showing, very nicely presented. A heifer that balances well. Her neck's nice, she's good in terms of her rib. I like the level of chat over her hip. And this particular day, this heifer just wasn't getting out and moving quite good enough uh, to warrant me putting that heifer over the one in front of her, but that's a very nice, very classy, very high quality female. And the heifer was second in the last class. Young lady as well, does a really nice job. These two have them set up all the time. 
That's a strong top level hip, big bodied, wide made kind of a female. I didn't think she moved quite as good as the heifer that beat her in class, maybe pushing just a tick more chest. But uh, awesome lineup of female. I'm going to go out and show you the two I like the best today. Champion Junior Heifer is 440 out of Class 731B, Boy Smokin' Monty, 7311, Carter Hoag from Good Hope, Illinois. And your reserve Junior Champion Heifer is 449 out of Class 731C, Junior Yearling Heifers, MLF Miss Montella, 53EET, Bailey Garwood, Columbiana, Ohio. Up next, we'll bring back our champ reserves from each of our divisions, this will be the Grand Champion Charlotte Heifer selection. My apologies, the reserve was 444. BK Boy Eye Catching 740 EET. Kelton Arthur, Stillwater, Oklahoma. That was my bad. Sorry about that. 444 is your reserve for the Junior Heifer. We've got a really impressive start to our high percent main show out here. A uh, really deep class of heifer calves. Lots of differences out here, though. As you can see, if you're watching from ringside, I think we have a pair of heifers on the top end of this class. They sure sort themselves up, and just in terms of being combination, in terms of size, muscle, body, and soundness. Our, our female that starts off, uh, really a deep-ribbed female that's wide-based and really correct in, correct in terms of her structure really pretty up through her front end. May have just a little bit of chest floor coming in her at this age, but a female that I sure see some maternal in, see some rib and body, and just a, just a really nice place to start. Probably the smallest uh, and greenest uh, heifer in the class is probably this half second place female. Beautiful headed, really long fronted, really like her structure. She's just not there yet as you compare her to some of these other heifers in the class, but I sure recognize the quality this female has and want to make sure she gets up in this class, but a really good female to go second. The, probably one of the highest performing heifers in the class and third, the longest bodied heifer in the class. Uh, just a little more heifer than what I would need uh, as far as size and frame in the May heifer calf class. But uh, appreciate the performance and the quality that female has. Maybe just a little more frame and size than I particularly need. A really smooth, feminine female that comes next, really correct. Just need to see a titch, titch more rib and body in this female and a little more performance. But you can see the female look and the, the longevity that female is going to have. A little bit wider made, thicker female that's a little choppy in the way she moves. Really presented well, just like to see her move better on those rear legs. A really highly presented heifer that follows up the class. Very attractive in her profile. Just a little bit too tall and, and, and flat for me today as far as how she's made from behind but a female that definitely has some good in her. Uh, really good class to start off. Over on the main as you female side for the open show with our judge Kyle Conley, Sulphur, Oklahoma. In the rig next will be class 334 spring heifer calves born March 1st, 2018 or after. Second class of three within the division one. Here's a result on class 333. First place 4468 GLC Ebony, Ty Goss, Leedy, Oklahoma. Second 4464 BMWC Exactly, 512 FET, Austin Hunker, Bellevue, Ohio. In third, 4465 BBR Festive, 886 FET, Samantha or Sammy Schrag from Marion, South Dakota. Fourth, 5302 BBR Fascinated, 890 FET, Nash Richardson, Yuma, Colorado. Fifth, 4467 
Chanel, Sarah Rempel, Athens, Texas, 6th, 46-33, foolproof, Jake King, Cope, Colorado. Once again in the ring with our judge, Colin Conley, for the open main as you females. This is class 334, spring heifer calves. On the other side of the show ring, this will be your grand champion, Charlay Heifer selection. Don't forget, coming up at 11 o'clock, we've got these shorthorn shows. They will follow the Charlay show ring. Char the uh, shorthorn will start at 11 a.m. Take just a moment here and thank Miss Charlay USA, Madison Vogt from Kansas for helping us with the show. Executive Vice President Neil Orth, the staff David Hobbs, Caitlin Chisholm, Floyd Wampler, Cody Beck, Weston Geppert, Ty Groshans, junior board members helping us in the ring as well, Kylie Raymeyer and Tara Tellefson, the AICA President Larry Ludicky, board members Ty Eschenbaum, Mike Shoemaker, Dennis Metzger, past President Bill Notke, and don't forget the Charlay and the Rocky sale begins at 1 p.m. in the Beef Palace Auction Arena. Judge once again, Tyler Cates, Modoc, Indiana. Went to college at Northeast Ohio A&M and Purdue University. Grew up on a purebred shorthorn operation. Currently owns and operates Cates Farms Shorthorns with his father Brian and uncle Randy Cates, as well as Sunrise Sunset Angus with his wife Courtney and daughter Piper. Judge once again for Modoc, Indiana, Tyler Cates. Well, this has been uh, extremely uh, an honor uh, for me to be here. I've enjoyed it. Uh, there's times it was easy and there's times that I earned my money, uh, but really, really impressive. I think that you, as Charlay breeders, I think that the cattle that you have in the show ring right now are not only the best they've ever been, but they're the most popular they've ever been. They're the most popular they have ever been on the national setting and be able to compete for supreme titles. And, you know, I think that coupled with the fact that you've been able to do that and not lose your place and your market share within the bull market and the commercial bull market uh, coupled with the um, outstanding association and leadership you have, um, you know, that I always enjoy working with your staff. And it's so such a pleasure that you have people that have been in your breed that long uh, working for you and are professional. And I just always am excited uh, to judge the Charlay cattle and partly because of that. But those three things right there are the three most important things that go into a breed along with you as breeders. So uh, give yourselves an amazing round of applause. I'd like to thank the National Western for having me. And um, anytime you get the opportunity to stand in this arena uh, that has this much prestige and history, um, it, you can't help but just you know, look forward to it. And when you, when you step in through those gates instead of through those gates, it's a totally different feeling. Uh, those of you that uh, never had the, the honor and the opportunity to walk through those gates and, and stand on this side, I hope you do someday because not only is it an honor and a pleasure, but it also at the same time, it puts a lot of things into perspective uh, in terms of the fact that everybody likes their cattle a little different and it's just you have to go home happy and be pleased with everything you do. I like to thank uh, my beautiful wife, Courtney. Uh, she is absolutely uh, my best friend that does everything for me. She's a tremendous mother. I'm sure she's been back getting our showhorn cattle ready this morning. Uh, I certainly just um, want her to know how much I love her. And then uh, there's a little girl that was standing along the side over here. She's a four-year-old. Her name is Piper Cates, and she has an absolute, complete fascination with Charlay cattle. And uh, so there is a chance, 
there is a chance that you may see us uh, at your junior nationals on down the line. I'd like to thank my family at home, my, my parents um, who taught me uh, hard work and integrity. Um, they've allowed me to be here, their home cabin cows. They gave me the opportunity that I could ever dream to, to get to this point and get an opportunity like this. I'd like to thank my help uh, back in the barn. This is our fifth show day in a row, and I'm sure that um, they're getting worn out, but uh, they're led by my herdsman, Kyle Shuffler, who I couldn't do it without. I just want to uh, thank them for allowing me to be out here. Um, and lastly, I'd like to thank God. Um, no matter what you do in life, you know, there's always a purpose, and winning cow shows is, is way fun. Uh, but if you do it without a purpose and without a backing and, and a real end point, I don't know that it's worthwhile. So I definitely always want to recognize uh, the most important thing to all of us. Uh, there's a calf down here that sure has me thinking picking a calf would be okay. I think that's a, that's a really good female. I like her even better uh, now than I did first time around. I think she's, she's going to have a bright future and win a lot of shows. Um, but I think there's a big heifer here today that does everything that I, I ask one to do this time of year. And uh, that's going to be this young man down here on the end. She's going to be your champion female. Grand champion Charlotte Heifer is 440. Boy Smoke and Monty, 7311. Carter Hogue, Good Hope, Illinois. And that young man's calf that has me really thinking is going to be your reserve. Congratulations. And your reserve grand champion, Charlie Heifer, is 420. Boy Bree, 807 PLDET. Kelton Arthur, Stillwater, Oklahoma. Thanks once again to our judge, Tyler Cates, Modoc, Indiana. Pleasure working with you, sir. Don't forget, on that side of the show ring, Shorthorn starts at 11 a.m. Shorthorn's at 11 a.m. What a class in here, and our second class.